Looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 coins? Look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and their coins are currently discounted a ton. Make sure to take advantage and use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got the 50 promo. The 50 promo, I think it's, what is it, week six at this point? I just picked up some Julio power-ups. Well, a power-up to pick up Julio when he does come out. Uh, at about 2 p.m. Eastern time because I do want that new Julio Jones and I feel like he might he might be the first 50 player that doesn't cost a million coins to get his power up because I believe they're gonna use his regular power up. It'd be really messed up if they make you get like a 50 power up for him. So hopefully that's not the case. But I did scoop him up just in case. I do want to pick up that Julio Jones. He looks super super great. Now for today's Poodle Squad shout out we got Ja 808 Jam. Shout out to you man for being a part of the Poodle Squad. Thanks so much for showing support on each and every video now it's about it for that guys if you want your own chance to be shouted out of the poodle squad all you gotta do is like the video comment down below poodle squad and turn on that noti bell once you do all those things you're entered for a chance to be shouted out and of course go pick up some julio power-ups if you want i think you need him i think he's gonna be the best wide receiver in the goal terry mclaurin's the best wide receiver julio jones is gonna be um the best non-receiver not named mclaurin you know what i mean i might have double negative myself there leave me alone i don't need to hear about it we're fine anyways let's get into this so we got the new 50 now there was some more dual entitlement news but i think it's everything we know guys for all you guys who might not know everything carries over in the next man so don't get worried about that your mup binder your points your coins everything's going to transfer over so don't worry about that and you know if, if anything stupid like training didn't transfer over you try to convert back to coins but i'm pretty sure everything's going to actually end up transferring over so don't worry about that uh the release date for madden is of course i believe december 4th which kind of sucks there's like Christmas promo. I hope hopefully they bang it right out of there. But we will be missing Black Friday on the next gen console, which just sucks. Especially because we're gonna have the consoles, you know what I mean? Now, yes, the Madden will probably work on the next gen consoles, the our current edition, so we will get it on the next gen consoles per se. We won't get it on the next gen version of the game, if you guys understand what I'm saying. Hopefully, you guys you guys understood that. But either way, hopefully there's something good because it kind of sucks. I was looking forward to playing my console in about a week and a half, and here we are now waiting even longer as we always do but anyways guys get into these 50 players let's go over some of the stats and show you guys what we're dealing with so first we got julio jones 92 overall as you guys did see last night in the pre-reel uh now this is interesting so the fact that julio jones got a card opens up the door for some other stuff so julio jones is i believe the first modern player still playing that got a 50 card that also happens to have a regular power up right so that's impressive. That's, that's cool because you know, when you want a Ladini Tomlinson powered up or Reggie Bush, all their power ups went for like 200k, 250k, and it's like it's not worth buying a card 250, 300k, and then buying their power up and then pretty much doubling the price of that card. So it wasn't worth it. But because Julio is going to be a 50 card, which the 50 cards are all one of the top cards, right? They just need a power up. Julio is going to have a cheap 13k power up. So in my opinion, the fact that he has that makes him increasingly more valuable. And as well, it'd be cool to see some modern day players in this as well. So. You know, there's a few other guys you could potentially just like a Pat Pete and Adrian Peterson at some point. But I do like that they are implementing some top uh, players because it is the top 50 players in Madden. In Madden, Ultimate Team specifically, I believe. So Julio Jones has been one of the top 50 players, and so has a few other guys. So hopefully they do implement, implement some more like that because I do not. I do enjoy spending only 13k on a power up versus spending um, 200k. But enough of that, guys. Get into the uh, let's get into the stats here. 91 speed, 93 jumping, 90 catch, and 91 catch in traffic. 92 spec catch, 92 short, 89 medium, and 87 deep. Now, of course, powered up and chemmed up, he'll have the short route running threshold, the medium route running threshold, and with go deep, he will have the deep route running threshold. So, Julio Jones all around goes to be a top receiver in Madden with 92 speed, 94 jumping. Now, yes, Terry McLaurin is two speed faster, but Julio Jones is six foot three. He's going to be a route runner archetype, which does get him a uh, more better abilities like slot, slot apprentice, route apprentice, and stuff like that, which. Terry McLaurin, I believe, couldn't get, so that's going to be a big advantage that Julio's going to have. Yes, Terry probably still is the better receiver because of that speed and how good he is with the ball in his hands, but Julio Jones is going to still be good with the ball in his hands, be taller, be just as good as everything else, and of course, he's 6'3", gets better ability. So, they're going to be very, very similar. Like I said, just the two speeds going to be the difference there. But Julio Jones is looking super, super solid. Of course, I think you definitely got to pick him up. I hope his price isn't too inflated because everyone knows you don't need his power, so people are willing to pay more. Like, that's the issue, right? When let's say reggie bush when he first came out right? he was like 400k and people were willing to pay that now i th and but and that was including a power up that was another 200k so if you get rid of that power up and if guys like 300k you're like oh there's no power for 300k you'll buy that instantly so the market may actually rise because people are willing to pay more knowing they don't have to spend an additional 200 to get them good so keep that in mind next we got dante culpepper now i'm actually really excited about this he may be one of the best quarterbacks in the game it all depends on the archetype they end up giving him and if he's a strong arm or a field general but dante culpepper 85 speed 
93 throw power, 89 throw short, 87 throw mid, 90 deep accuracy, 89 throw under pressure, 90 throw under run, and 90 play action. Powered up and kind up, guys. You're going to want to use play fake for this one. Play fake with Dante Culpepper. He will have above 90 short, above 90 medium, and above 90 deep accuracy. So he's going to be one of the most accurate quarterbacks in the game. Above 90 throw under pressure, above 90 throw under run, above 90 play action. He's going to be a perfect, perfect threshold quarterback. And he has 94 throw power kept powered up. Plus Kem. I'm, I could be wrong. I don't know how much throw power goes up. But you're going to be looking at between anywhere between 96 and 99 throw power. So he's going to be with 85, with 86 speed powered up. So in my opinion, he essentially is going to be Patrick Mahomes with faster. Like what you want the next Mahomes card to look like, right? Like how you expect Mahomes in real life can do it all and has that breakaway speed as well. Well, not breakaway, but he has the speed to make a play. I would replace him for Vic. Pre, for, for, I'm pretty sure I'd replace him for Vic because he's like, He's what Russell Wilson could have been, except they gave him a plus, you know, plus five throw power on Russell Wilson, plus like plus two speed. So I personally go with Culpepper. I think Culpepper is actually a really great drop. Him and Julio Jones so far are two really, really good. The 50 drops, usually they don't do, they don't do Culpepper like this. They usually don't make him this good. And I think, I think he's a really super solid quarterback. Uh, 86 speed is more than enough guys. Cause trust me, unless you're a guy that runs fast break quarterback draw, read option, all game or you're a guy that just likes to make plays on the feet, 100 yards game. But if you're a guy like this, is how I play, I, I first I make my reads. If I see a seam up the middle of my lineman, like the line of spread, I take my five yards. If I see a first down 15 yards away and people, everyone's downfield, I go for the first down. If I see a first down two yards away, I sprint around the line. See, all that stuff is doable with the skate artist. That's all you're gonna have to, with the skate artist, it's all doable. And the only thing difference is with Vic is that he's gonna get a little bit further, but quite honestly, he makes me do stupid stuff anyway. So Cole Pepper is going to get the job done and I really do like him as a 50 player now for the next one we got albert hainsworth defensive tackle for the tennessee titans i uh, was not expecting this one but still nonetheless looks a really solid 74 speed 84 excel 93 strength 91 tackle 89 play rec 91 block shed 90 power move and 66 finesse move of course power up and camp can have all the thresholds you need gonna be kind of unathletic here's the issue i have with albert hainsworth i feel like we have four of the same defensive tackle right like they gotta they gotta make these cards a little bit different we got me and joe green we got john randall both have similar athleticism, both have above 90, they both have 90 above 90 power move or finesse move, and they both have relatively close to 90 block shed with chems or without chems. So no big differences between these guys. And personally, I mean, they're all kind of the same. I guess at this point, you want to pick the most athletic one, which would be John Randall, who's going to get about an 80 speed with like a 90 excel or something like that, I believe. Meanwhile, Albert Hainsworth and Mean Joe Green are rocking in the low, like low mid 70s for speed with very similar stats. That's the issue, right? So you drop Albert Hainsworth, but John Randall has similar block shed and similar and, and good finesse move. Similar to his power move. So I was like, oh, go John Randall. Wait, but block shed's better on uh, Albert Hansen. Okay. Well, then you go Mean Joe Green. Mean Joe Green's still faster, has a slightly better power move, and he also has the same block shed. So it's really tough. I'm not a fan of the Albert Hansen drop. I feel like this is just a very repetitive defensive tackle drop. And we're in a game where the meta of Madden Ultimate Team typically isn't even used defensive tackles. You know what I mean? A lot of people rock ends inside or outside linebackers on the edge and put the you know Donald in the middle or they do these weird three three five defenses where it's just three ends across the board or three outside linebackers or you know what i'm saying like the, the meta just never even suits a defensive tackle i mean i use them but that's because i don't like to play that i don't really play that meta you know i kind of just play what i know and if it works it works but for people that play meta i don't think these are even that usable and again it's also repetitive but that's better for the 50 players let's head over to the madden screen to close the video out so that is better for the video i hope you guys did enjoy today's 50 drop again Super exciting. Just to confirm the week before I say it wrong. Just want to make sure week six, I I believe. The 50. Yeah, we're going to the 50 week six. So, of course, you guys know this drops around like 2 p.m. Eastern time. Stay tuned for that. Super exciting stuff. And then tomorrow we do have the Legends. So, you'll see the reveal tonight. And so on and so forth. You guys already know the routines for this stuff. And, of course, we should be getting most your part four. Which I don't know if that'll be tomorrow. I don't think so. I think it'll be Monday. I doubt they'll drop a Sunday. So, I'm expecting probably Monday. Uh, which will probably be, what is that, the first, right? Because tomorrow's the 31st. Oh, so Sunday's the first, so maybe the second. Uh, but yeah, that's about it, guys. And real quick, if you guys want to enjoy the Poodle Squad, like the video, turn the noti bell, comment down below Poodle Squad. If you guys need coins for these cards later, head over to my reserve, pick up some coins. Code Poodle, 15% off down below. I'm out. Peace.